Welcome to the weekly Forex video, taking a look at reversal patterns that I see in the Forex market. First of all, though, be aware that this video is shown to a global audience, but may not be suitable for everyone. Visit admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence, and contact the appropriate entity for more details. Also, please note that this uh, the trading for exchange in global financial markets is considered higher risk. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. By continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer and you are aware of the risk involved when trading. All right, let's kick off this uh, Euro dollar weekly chart here. And of course, uh, yesterday there was the French presidential elections. Uh, centrist independent candidate Macron is uh, the winner and be beat the far right candidate Le Pen. And that did send the Euro dollar higher. Uh, there was a gap to the upside as uh, the Euro responded positively to that news. And uh, you can see that uh, the price is now approaching and has broken above 110. However, as the news settles down and basically has been taken into account by the market already, pre-fact that, uh, that Macron was going to win, uh, the effect was quite mild. As you can see here, yes, upside, but hitting 110, uh, price is reversing back down again. So is this going to be a, a retracement for uh, more upside or is this going to be a serious bounce for more downside? That's the question. If you look at this daily uh, candle, uh, daily chart, I should say, sorry, then we see an uptrend channel. This bullish channel is something I'm keeping an eye on. And if, the, if you look at the weekly, what I just did, then I think that this could still be a bear flag as long as price stays roughly below this top, right? This top here, I think that basically 113, 1250, uh, price could still be just in a retracement for more downside. Of course, if it does break above 110, then there could be some bullish momentum towards that 11250. So if we look at the daily chart, you can see here price is above the weekly pivot point. So for me to be bearish, I need first of all price to break below this weekly pivot point. That's at 109.55-ish. Uh, uh, I would need a good candle, four hour candle close and a good size candle too to break below that pivot point, preferably break below these tops as well and uh, signal to the market that a bigger reversal or retracement is going to occur. There is divergence between these tops, as you can see. So there's a single divergence on the four hour chart, plus the 110 round level, plus the channel top, plus all the Admiral Keltner bands resistance as well. There could be reason for price to use this as a bouncing spot and a, therefore a reversal spot to go back to the bottom of that channel. All right, so, but it all depends if price breaks, in my opinion, below the weekly pivot. If it doesn't, I think that there could still be a chance of a continuation uh, with the news, of course, basically supporting the euro. I think that that could still happen. There is that chance. This could just be a retracement and price could still break to the upside for that to happen. For me to be interested in upside, I would need to see a break above this top with a good four hour candle as well. So the top here resistance is around 110, uh, I think 15 at this moment. Let me double check that very quickly with you live. Uh, the high is indeed 110.15. So good candle close above that would signal to me, okay, there's a, there's a continuation potential. If the breakout candle, however, has a huge wick, all right, and hits the R1, for instance, something like this, and there's a wick like that. So the candle looks like this, for instance, right? Well, that indicates actually a bounce to me that would indicate a stronger chance of reversal. I would be looking for perhaps even shorting it right then without waiting for the pivot point to be broken. But I need to see uh, a second good four hour candle uh, basically fail to break to the upside. We will talk about the pound and dollar yen in just a second. But just take a look at these webinars coming up tonight. We discussed, Nana tonight, discussed the outcome of the French presidential elections and the impact on the financial markets. But there are many more webinars, as you can see, lined up in the next two weeks. Hope to see you in one of these soon. Time for the pound dollar, basically also showing divergence between these tops. Hence, the upside also could be a bit limited because there is divergence. But divergence does not have to have immediate effect price can push higher before the reversal starts and the pound dollar is certainly uh, capable of doing that it's a very very strong momentum at this moment however 130 resistance and round level just like the, the euro dollar basically with 110 is around the corner and you can see that price has already responded to that 
bullish engulfing twins right here as price approach 129.88 very close of course to 130 so is this bullish engulfing twins the starting spot of a reversal it is possible but price is challenging that right now this is the eighth candle or so reaching the Keltner so I think that a bounce is possible at this moment but from a wave perspective I would actually like to see a break of this top so for me I'm just waiting for price to make that slightly higher high and on a four hour chart I would like to see again a bearish candlestick pattern emerge as price fails to break 130 now will it break 130 it could I'm not guaranteeing that 130 will not be broken I'm just saying that if it doesn't get broken I would like to see a break of this top and then basically a bearish engulfing uh, or sorry a bearish uh, candlestick pattern then I would be interested in shorting it however if price breaks below above 130 preferably with a daily candle to be honest today's daily candle or tomorrow's for that matter for that matter or even Wednesday uh, you know if that shows a good close above 130 I would be looking for intraday continuations the next day this week all right so that's how I could try to trade up to the R1 R2 try to trade that momentum uh, further along with uh, with this pound uh, dollar all right now if there is a reversal the next thing I would look for of course is a break of the weekly pivot point just like the your dollar as well pound uh, sorry dollar yen uh, next on the list of course and uh, well this one I'm expecting a reversal as well it seems like reversal territory uh, in the forex market this week and why well because I think that five waves have been completed all right so that's one thing there is one hour divergence between these tops and uh, I think that this could in any case make an ABC correction uh, before making perhaps another upside there's a double top at this moment there so those are all contributing factors to the you know to a bigger reversal or retracement uh, the Dalian has also reached the Keltner so far I think the breakout has not been looking very convincingly with this uh, bearish candle so here again very simple price breaks above the previous top or if there's another bearish candle like today today's daily candle or for instance if it breaks below the, the weekly pivot point then those are all reasons for me to think that a bigger correction is indeed going to occur also on the dollar yen all right don't forget to join or subscribe to youtube facebook with admiral markets or visit our website of course admiralmarkets.com more webinars analysis articles all mentioned there wish you all great trading folks talk to you soon cheers